It's Wednesday, it's noon. I'm Julie Haswitz with Remax Suburban. I'm Jeannie Gorey, Money in the Middle. And <laughs> this here is Jamie Safransky, Remax Suburban. Our dear Real friend term. Jamie could not be with us today, but so she's kind of missing out, although she does know Laura, so she can talk to Laura anytime she wants. Oh, as and I can. can't get you back in here, sorry. So get back in this. <laughs> Okay. We're here with Laura Meehan uh, and Laura nice. sitting over here. Just give her to me. Oh, I'll just hold her. I'll just hold her. Here, here, Jamie, I'm just going to hold you. Sorry. Sorry, okay. folks. All right, we got to get to business because we've only got a few minutes. Okay, so we're here with Laura. Laura is an attorney. She is my go-to attorney for real estate. So she handles real estate law, probably multiple other things, but today our focus is real estate law. So our first question, and maybe some of you have the same question, is... Why do we need an attorney to buy or sell a home? Buyers ask, sellers ask, well, why do I have to have an attorney? What does an attorney, you know, do for me? Yeah. Each party needs their own attorney to represent them through the process and be their advocate. Um, yeah. You know, through the contract negotiation, title issues, survey defects. And attorneys are specially trained to negotiate contracts and understand the legal issues involved and possible remedies available in the event of breach of contract. Well, okay. I was just going to say, because the contract nowadays is so long, it's like, I don't even know how many pages now. So there is a lot to know. So an attorney is Well, there's is, a lot of fantastic. pages, and I have to say, yeah. I've noticed that, like, like you said, you're an advocate if you're representing the seller or the buyer, because I swear, every time we have that five days, I'm jumping into your question. Yes. All right. Okay. She's Next gonna question. Stop. She's going to stop talking. <laughs> okay. So she's shutting my question. My question is, when do you need to have an attorney? I mean, what, at what point at what you point sign the process? contract? To, yeah. Do I then hire you? Yeah. yeah, immediately upon signing the contract. Um, in the standard contract that's used in DuPage County, there's a five-day attorney review period. It's five business days. And okay, business days. business days. Business days. We just talked okay. about this too, so that does not include weekends. Right. Right. Business so it doesn't include Saturday. Is, no. No. Okay. Well, Monday so, through so Friday. Friday. Count Saturday as business. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so you don't need the attorney. You kind of want to have an idea of who you want, though, even before you buy your home or sell your home, but you don't officially have to have one until every party has signed that contract, right? Right, and then the clock starts ticking. And it ticks. It ticks, it ticks. And then what yeah. changes can you make during that five days? Yeah, so the attorney... Can you change the price? No, but you can negotiate the... <laughs> all the terms <laughs> of the contract. Sure some people terms. aren't aware. Um, you know, and the, the five attorneys are often booked, so it's best to get the contract to them right away so they can work the contract into their schedule. They might be booked the first two days of the five days. Oh, because you don't, these attorneys don't just have one client. You have multiple clients. Right, right. right. Yeah. So you want to get it to them right away. So once everything, and that's my, my procedure is the minute mm -hmm. all the parties have signed the contract, it instantly goes to the attorneys. It right. goes to the mortgage person. That's the money in the middle gal. And the attorney then can make adjustments and changes. And it's amazing to me all the changes that the attorneys make, right. you know, because they'll look through it and go, well, wait a second, this is not for, this is not in the best interest of my seller, for instance, and change a couple of things. Like, for instance, um, well, I had a buyer that changed the um, time period for the inspection. And they wanted to, and they wrote a letter back to the other attorney saying, hey, we want more time. And my seller's attorney was like, nope, we're going by line there's a couple of lines like line 17 and line 15 and that's what we're sticking to something like that right so they did that within the first five days yeah so lots okay. of requests go back and forth and they might be agreed to and might not be right the whole idea is with the contract you you have a legal binding contract so you have yeah. to meet every area of every paragraph so there's dates not on every paragraph but there's dates and for a lot of those so if you don't feel right. like you're going to make those dates you have to have an attorney change them or fix them or alter them or extend them, right? That's right. Okay. Yes, and the attorney has to do it Correct. because I, as a realtor, cannot change anything on the contract. Mm -hmm. And the seller and the buyer cannot do it. Everything goes between the attorneys once that five-day period starts. Every change, anything, if you want to even leave something behind in the house, we like to run that through the attorneys. We want everything in writing. Now, right. do you attend closings? I do um, okay. for the for the buyers and the sellers and sellers actually don't have to attend closings. Uh, the sellers' attorneys can attend on their behalf with the power of attorney, so that's kind of nice for sellers. Yeah, they don't have to be there, but the buyer because they have how many things to sign and yeah. you read every page with them. Right. So that's one of the things I do as a buyer's attorney is attend the closing and go through the lending packet um, and the seller closing docs. Yeah, because I've had many people ask why do they need an attorney in the closing yeah, because why? you know they have me there. because I'm the lender and all this kind of stuff. Right. So 
what do you tell people when they say, why do I need to have you there at the closing? Yeah, buyer's attorneys need a, um, need to be there to review the seller closing docs. Those are legal documents transferring title to the buyer. So um, the attorney needs to review them and make sure they're correct and that they um, are consistent with the title commitment provided by the, the title company. Yeah. Right. So okay. so we can tell you what's on. I mean, I can describe everything that's on there, but I can't legally, or the title company can't legally say, okay, these are legal. You can change this. You can't change this. Right. You can do this. You can't they advise. have to talk to right. someone. You cannot right. advise. advise. You need an anything attorney anything like. to advise you about yeah. your legal Right. We can just explain it, not advise it. Mm -hmm. Well, and what your obligation is when you sign this Correct. contract, What am I? what is my obligation? Right. And you can explain that all to them. Okay. Right. Quick tip before we go. We're running out of time. Any quick tips? Anything to keep it, keep that closing <laughs> short. How do we do that? <laughs> that if you need a very good lender. Um, have, have and show up on time. That's right. Yeah, show up on time. Show up on time to your closing. The buyer really starts yeah. the closing. If yeah. the buyer isn't there on time, um, you know, Everyone things start. Gets mad. <laughs> Everyone gets very angry. <laughs> There's a lot of anger involved. Yeah. No, all right. It's a great time. It well, is a great time. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yes. We all love, we all love to buy and sell our homes. Okay. So well, thank you for joining us. Any now. questions, emails, whatever, uh, yeah. Laura, we'll get back to you on anything that you have that may come up that you see. Yeah. Thanks we'll for probably coming, have Laura, Laura back. Thank you for coming. Thanks She's for awesome. Me. Very <laughs> short. It was short, but Thanks. that's the way it is on our little Thanks. We'll see you next show. for more insights. Bye.